Hello and welcome to this short video about Backstage, GitHub, the Terraform provider for SAP BDP and consequently SAP BDP. What I would like to show you within this short video is what you can already do today when combining several bits and pieces um, in order to improve your developer experience and um, well, kickstart your development projects. Now, what would I like to achieve within this demo? Basically, the story is you have development teams within your organization and you would like to help them to kickstart their developments. And for that, you would like to leverage a um, developer portal where the developers or the development team can, um, based on a templating approach, select their preferred setup for a development project based on the best practices within your organization, um, based on the security and governance um, and compliance topics that are already baked in into that repository, a pre-configured CI-CD setup, and so on and so forth. Now, um, in order to achieve that, I want to leverage a Backstage as an open source framework for building developer portals, a CNCF project that is currently probably the most picked up tool in order to set up such a development portal. And of course, I would like to leverage the Terraform provider in order to do the setup on SAP BTP so that the development teams can start right from scratch um, with a pre-configured setup on SAP BTP. Now, in order to achieve that, what I have created is an organization on GitHub, which will um, host my repositories for my development project. And it also contains one special repository, which is a well, template, a blueprint repository um, for the development projects that I would like to kick off. So this one um, contains the, the setup and the structure, how you would like to have it within your development projects when you want to go um, in a more standardized way for your development projects. So you would have some, some source code in there, basically. You certainly have some infrastructure as code in there, like defined here in order to set up all the resources on SAP BTP for your development project and also a uh, GitHub action that leverages um, the Terraform provider and the configuration that you have provided in order to automatically do the setup when the project gets started. So um, now baking that into um, Backstage, what I did is I created a local instance of um, Backstage, so very basic setup, and also, also created a template for such a BDP setup on Backstage. Now, um, uh, this template is basically a YAML configuration, which um, comprises some input data that you have to do in order to define your project, and then some steps that are executed, namely copying the GitHub repository, filling it with uh, your data that you have provided, kicking off, uh, cloning this, this, this repository or creating a new one within your GitHub organization, kicking off the CI CD flow so that the sub account gets created, and finally registering the template um, or the, the project that you've created based on the template within the um, Backstage catalog in order um, to, to have it in one place, have it in a self-contained fashion. Now let's do that. As you can see here, you can also label the, the, this template in order to make, a, a, if you have several templates, make it easier to decide which one to use. And now um, let's, um, let's give it a project name. Let's say in which region it should be deployed. Um, and then we have to enter some organizational data, which of course depends on what your organization thinks is important for, let's say, labeling the sub account um, bringing in some naming conventions and so on and so forth. Now we say it's a development project and it's in the B2C organizational unit. And finally, we will review what's in the um, sub account or what's in the data that we provide. And then we kick off the creation. We um, first of all fetch the repository, um, the blueprint repository. Then we publish the blueprint repository in a new repository based on the naming that we've provided. We execute the Terraform setup, or at least we kick it off, and then we register the um, project so we can open it in our catalog. And as you can see here, we have this Backstage Demo BTP um, component, how it's called in Backstage. 
and that comprises our project. Of course, that's um, quite simplistic now, so you can do a lot more here. And we can already jump to the GitHub repository that was created. And as you can see here, it's exactly called how we wanted it. So it's a new repository. Um, you can also see that there is some metadata information available within the repository that we have provided within um, our setup. So that's cool. And of course, the action should be kicked off in order to set up the sub account on BTP. So let's see, yeah, the, the Terraform apply is already running. Um, so we can shortly check here um, within this sub account if this um, sub account is getting created. As you can see here, let's do, um, no. yeah, demo was right, of course. Um, as you can see here, this is now exactly um, the sub account that we have created. We have baked in some naming conventions, so you can see this, this, this the stage, you can see the organization and so on. And you can also see that we have labels attached to it based on what we've entered. So with this, I want to end this short video. As you have seen, with tools that are already available as of today, with um, tools that we provide, like Terraform provider for SAP BTP, you can make the life of your um, development teams much, much easier. You can kick off the developments in a, in a super um, comfortable fashion, and you can also standardize all the stuff. If you want to learn more about this setup, I have also provided a blog post about that that goes a bit more in the technical details, and I will reference this blog post down in the show notes under this video. And with that, thanks for watching.